TP in a place to be, man. Y'all go ahead and hit that like button, man. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, man. We're finna go ahead and get into it. And this one, man, we got Lil Kelpie. He trying to, um, I guess he got on Cam Capone News after uh, he went on Sharp and Sharp got on his ass. So um, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's go. Probably gonna be an ass, so we're gonna let that whole play. Y'all go ahead, um, hit the like button if you haven't already, man. Go ahead, subscribe. We got a whole lot of returning viewers, man. It's like 95% people not subscribed, man. Go ahead, subscribe if you haven't already, man. Tap in, tap in. And go ahead and get your mind right. Get your mind right before we get into it. Here's a perspective, right? I was watching the No Jumper interview, and, you know, the first 20 seconds, 26 seconds, Sharp is on you about the jacket. Yeah. What is, let me hear your reasoning as to why you think he was upset about you wearing the jacket, and then I'll give you my opinion on it. Yeah, honestly, uh, my opinion on why he really hated the jacket, not even why he hated it, but why he didn't want me wearing it, is because I think he feels like, I'm perpetrating the old school, not even perpetrating pimping, but perpetrating the old school. So we basically thought that I was like taking inspiration from the old, old school pimps that wear the fur coats and the, you know, the colorful suits and shit like that, like Bishop, shout out to Bishop. So I think he just took it as like, I was making a joke out of it, especially with the dollar sign chain and all that. Yeah. But that's my opinion on it. No, yeah, for sure. Okay. I don't know if Cam Capone finna get into this, but then why would you wear that though? Dollar sign chain. You ain't, even, you ain't even seen white boys wear dollar sign chains since, like, come on, like, 2010. So, I really don't get why you rocking, dot like, a dollar sign chain. You know what I'm saying? Why you own no jumper. Like, I don't know what made you come out the house thinking that was really cool to wear. Um, and that didn't really help tell your story. That's the reason why they got on you as soon as you got to the, uh, to the interview. Because that's what I figured, too. Yeah. So, when you went there, what went through your head when you put on that furry ass coat and that dollar sign necklace because it Shit, definitely yeah. fits the stereotypical oh, yeah. type of what people assume uh, a, a P to be you know what I mean furry yeah. coat dollar sign with the, with the cane and the hat exactly like, yeah. that's all you was pretty much mentioned yeah what was your what made you decide to wear that particular outfit to the interview I like to stay fly you know I was thinking about the rabbits that had to die for that coat thinking about the fact that it's the middle of the summer I never wear that shit so I wanted to look fly, put that shit on, I'm some realism, whatever people want to say about that. I felt comfortable in it, I felt flying, so I put that shit on and walked in there. That's right, that's right. Um, so, sure. Yeah, you felt fly, you wasn't fly, so it was just crazy. How, I mean, I get, I get what you're saying. You felt like putting it on. I get that. But you also had to remember, bro, you finna go on, no jumper. Uh, it's finna be seen by hundreds of thousands of people, maybe even a million. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you go on there with a fur coat on and a dollar sign chain? Why would you represent yourself like that? Like, let's, like, come on, bro. Like, like that's just my wonder to him. You know what I'm saying? He was grilling you. Dumb. Do you think a part of that was because he feels you aren't playing the game right? Or he's genuinely trying to help you uh, have a better future and step away from the game? Like, what? I mean, if I'm being honest... I thought in the in the beginning that it was really he was trying to see me as like a son figure that he could educate and give some game to about like legal businesses and shit like that. And you was tweaking. Cause like Yeah, you might have thought he was just gonna sit behind and boast boast all these skills that you think you have, but he not for he he's really more not finna lie to you to tell you you have these skills that you don't have, you know what I'm saying? So you can't be mad because he's not finna sit around and lie to you. That's crazy to me. I don't know. But then after that interview, I really just figured, you know what? This dude's clowning on me, using me for views and shit like that. I don't think he believes or even cares if I'm really playing the game to his rules or to the rules that exist. And I kind of just think he's being a player hater, honestly. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you got your chain and yeah. your earrings and all that stuff. Yeah, I ain't wear the chain today, but like I, I asked for a diamond tester. Everybody's calling it fake. I ain't got the chain on. Like I said, we all can diamond test the earrings if you want. Okay, have you got a diamond tester? You didn't bring that shit on Cam Capone News because, like, you would have thought it was stupid for even, like, if Cam would have, like, if you'd have wore, wore the same shit or wore something like that. Let's say you changed the shirt or something. And Cam would have saw you with that on. It would have been even more. He would have even had to, like, ask you that question even more. So I felt like he 
He didn't wear it because it was a it was a, a feeling of oh something's wrong with this coat. So you probably should I mean you know you can't backtrack and like but I know you you know you probably should have felt that beforehand because that, that's probably when it was probably needed more in my in my opinion. But you know as you get a Cam Capone interview, it might be better. Cam might go ahead and get let you get your chance to talk. He might give you your your turn. You know what I'm saying? But it is funny that you thought that shit was fly though. That shit is crazy. Niggas niggas gotta uh you know. Niggas gotta be on there. You, know, you gotta know how you look before you leave the house, bro. You can't just be thinking you fly if you're not. You gotta kind of just be more aware of what you, you know, what you should wear. But, uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bust that bitch out. Oh, yeah. So the reason why they didn't wanna do that diamond tester, though, was cause, um. Uh, 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 it was probably fake. And there was just no need to, like, pull that out. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm, well, I'm gonna pull out the diamond tester. And uh, you know what I'm saying? We gonna we finna test your jewelry, even though you really just came out of pocket while you here. That's really more the reason why they didn't want to test your jewelry. You came out of pocket, you know. So uh, that's why you you know you gotta just you gotta just learn the game, man. Learn learn really what you was talking about. It seemed like you really wasn't really really wasn't you know like I said talking to the women, telling them to go get the money and bring it back to you. It seemed like you was you was just saying you did that. Maybe you knew a girl who maybe did that. One girl who did it for you, and you try to kind of perpetuate that. So maybe you just need to get get your life together. I know you try to go to Cam Capone News with a female in there with you, but it's not going. It's not necessarily making your situation better. But man, y'all go ahead and hit the uh, like, man. Go ahead and tell me how you feel about the situation in the comment box. Do y'all feel like Sharp was too hard when he was on his head, or do y'all feel like Sharp was was uh, was in his place? He was just trying to tell him, pretty much, kind of show him that he was not. That was not him. Yeah, I feel like Cam Capone, he did this. Uh, um, he did this to show that he's a good, good interviewer and that he he kind of can he conducts himself differently. Or do I feel like Cam Capone did this for one of the viral moments possibly? I mean, either way, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really. It ain't like shit gonna go nowhere. Like, shout out, shout out Cam Capone. Shout out Sharp. They both be going hard. Like, you know, it is what it is. But um, yeah, man, y'all go ahead and hit that like button. And I'm going to get at y'all in the next one, man. Y'all stay out the way. It's TP in the place to be.